Hi welcome, today I am going to explain about the film, Bring It On, All or Nothing. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. As Pacific Vista High School's cheerleading captain and the star quarterback's girlfriend, Brittany Allen, Hayden Panettiere, is a senior living the dream life. The very ambitious Winnie Harper, Marcy Rylan, is her adversary. When her father loses his job, her life is drastically altered. The family is forced to move to the made-up community of Crenshaw Heights, where Brittany, as the white girl, takes a long time to get used to. She meets Caressa, Giovanni Samuels, and Letty, Francia Almanderes, two of Camille, Solange Noel Smith, the Crenshaw Heights, warriors, cheerleaders, teammates, and friends. Additionally, she meets Jesse, Gus Carr, a male cheerleader who is the only person on her first day who is kind to her. After being persuaded by Winnie to never cheer for another team, since doing so would label her a cheer whore, Brittany makes a point of showing up for the cheerleading tryouts, where she wows the crowd with her talent and expertise. Having been convinced by her pals to do it for the squad, Camille hesitantly extends an invitation to join the group. Jesse and Brittany get close and exchange kisses. Around this time, singer Rihanna, playing herself, announces a TV competition open to all high school cheering teams, with the winners receiving new computers for their school and the opportunity to star in a music video with her. Winnie tells her friends that Brittany is supporting the Warriors after learning this information. Brittany tells Camille a week later that she won't be able to cheer at the following game, because she will be hosting a memorial ceremony for her deceased dog, but in reality, she will be Brad's date to Pacific Vista's homecoming dance. When Camille and Jesse visit Brittany to express their sorrow and notice that she and Brad are dressed for the dance, they expel Brittany from the team. Winnie tells everyone at the dance that she has been sleeping with Brad behind Brittany's back, and Brittany immediately rejects Brad, calling Winnie too much of a backstabber to have any real friends. The Warriors bus is where Brittany meets them the following day, the day of the auditions, to wish them luck. When Winnie and her gang make fun of the Warriors, Brittany confronts Winnie and stands up for them. This makes Camille impressed, and she invites Brittany to join in again. While they had even kissed, Jessie is still upset with her for not being forward about having a boyfriend. Both of the competing teams display their abilities. In front of everyone at the dance, Winnie confesses to having slept with Brad behind Brittany's back. Brittany then immediately ditches Brad, calling Winnie too much of a backstabber to have any real friends. The Warriors bus is visited by Brittany the day before the auditions, who wishes them luck. The Warriors are mocked by Winnie and the rest of her crew, but Brittany confronts Winnie and sticks up for them. In awe of this, Camille invites Brittany to join in on the celebration once more. Even after they had kissed, Jessie still holds her responsible for not coming forward about having a boyfriend. Performances are displayed by both of the competing teams. Everyone present, including Rihanna and the Crenshaw Heights team, votes to elect a new cheerleading captain for Pacific Vista High in place of Winnie. Winnie objects, calling CH's fashion, ghetto, to which Rihanna responds that she evaluates a team based on their abilities rather than their origins. The Pacific Vista team, led by Brittany's friend Amber, Cindy Chu, as their new captain, comes forward to congratulate the Crenshaw Heights team after Rihanna declares them the winners. 
Jesse and Britney reconcile as well, sharing a kiss after their opening performance. The film concludes with a specially created music video for Rihanna's Ponder Replay, which features the Crenshaw Heights crew performing in the foreground. You can download this movie by the link in the description.